Like in many coastal areas, control of mosquitoes is an ongoing effort in Dare County where waterways such as canals and salt marshes, as well as flooding from storms and significant weather events can create the perfect combination for mosquito populations to develop and thrive. Mosquitoes are more than just annoying pests. They also pose a potential health hazard for humans and animals due to the disease they can carry and transmit, such as West Nile and Triple E. To help suppress the mosquito population and reduce the risk of residents and visitors contracting a mosquito-borne disease, the Dare County Mosquito Control Department operates the Integrated Mosquito Management Program. The program is designed to target both adult mosquitoes and larvae throughout Dare County using pesticides that have been approved by the Environmental Protection Agency. The primary pesticides that are used in mosquito controls have very low toxicity to humans and mammals and most of these pesticides have even very little environmental impact. Dare County Mosquito Control employees are very diligent about following the precise instructions and applications of these pesticides and perform several different types of mosquito techniques. During the spring and summer months, Dare County performs large area roadway spraying in the evenings using sprayers that are mounted in the back of trucks. These truck mounted sprayers target and eliminate adult mosquitoes. To ensure the adequate distribution of treatments throughout the county, each truck equipped with a GPS system that tracks the area that has been treated. To treat areas that are difficult to access by trucks, Dare County employees use all-terrain vehicles. Dare County Mosquito Control employees also perform target treatments by wearing backpack sprayers and walking around areas that aren't easily accessible by trucks or the ATVs. In addition to trucks, ATVs, and backpack sprayers, Dare County Mosquito Control also utilizes briquettes or donut-shaped larvicides to eliminate larvae in areas where stagnant water collects. Although Dare County Mosquito Control performs treatments throughout the entire county, spraying is prohibited upon state and federal properties such as Jockey Ridge State Park and Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Due to the delicate ecosystem and abundance of wildlife that exists within these areas, in addition to state and federal lands, Dare County Mosquito Control also steers clear of several other no-spray areas due to special requests such as our local beekeepers in order to protect insect populations from potentially being affected by the mosquito treatment. In addition to the work being done, Dare County Mosquito Control residents can also help suppress mosquito populations by reducing their own risks of contracting mosquito-borne viruses by eliminating sandy water from their property. Many mosquito species tend to breed in plastic containers, tires, and tree holes, and even small quantities of water that collect within containers such as bottle tops and buckets can provide an ample breeding opportunity for these species. To help reduce the number of mosquitoes in and around your property, avoid leaving these types of containers outside where they may collect rainwater and become a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. If you do have containers around your property that frequently fill up with rainwater but cannot be removed, please be sure to tip them over and clean out regularly. Cleaning out clogged gutters, drilling holes in the bottom of trash can containers, and frequently adjusting tarps and other items in your yard that collect rainwater will also eliminate mosquito breeding grounds on your property. For more information about Dare County Mosquito Control Program, as well as additional ways you can help suppress local mosquito populations and eliminate potential mosquito-borne diseases, visit darenc.gov slash publicworks.